and we're live hey everybody welcome into the at flippin hippos youtube channel i'm star the flippin hippo today is wednesday august 21st and today i'm going to show you guys our finds from last saturday when we went to um some church sales and some yard sales i'll just wait a couple minutes for folks to wander on in and say hello to people before we get into the actual haul um, for some reason the notifications have been going out delayed I noticed that last night when I was live with uh, Courtney we were live for like a good minute or two before people started filtering in and um, people were saying the notification had just come out I don't know what it might have been StreamYard because today I'm on uh, third party OBS but We'll see. I didn't hear the notification come through on my phone. Um, so, we'll just give it a couple minutes. There's Indiana Flippers. Welcome in. Thanks for joining us today. And I can see that people are starting to filter in. Um, let me get a drink of water real quick. Hey, Shelly. Good morning. Thanks for coming in. Um, yeah, the notifications, I was blaming it on StreamYard because it's a new um, program I've been using. But I'm on um, Sell Quick Ship. Ship Quick is here. Welcome in. Um, Lucille, Veranda Files. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Um, I'm on my OBS, the third party I use when I'm alone and I don't have a guest that puts my subscriber count up there. Um, I don't know. Maybe everything in the world is just glitching out right now. eBay is having glitches left and right and all over the place. Um, maybe YouTube's having them too because it's, it's like you're live for like a full minute before the notification even comes out anymore. Um, and it used to be like right away. I said hello to Lucille Wright. Hi. Um, Northwest Purple Sparkles. Hey, good morning from the West Coast. What time is it out there? Like... 9.30. Cherry Picker's here. Good. Everyone's saying good morning and it's like noon 30 here. Um, yeah, and also double check your bells because sometimes YouTube will unsubscribe you or uncheck your bell from people you're subscribed to. Um, I'm forever going to watch a YouTube video on some of the people I subscribe to. And I'm like, wait, I'm not subscribed to them anymore. My bell's unchecked. So just kind of double check that. Um, sold items, relist and sell again. Here's what we're dealing with. We're getting messages from buyers that they don't have an option to pay you. So they'll send us an offer or they'll put something in their cart, I guess, and purchase it. And then they're telling us that when they go to buy it, there's no buy button or there's no pay button. There's like no way for them to pay us. And then we got one person that kept trying to pay, but it would error out and it would never go through. That's happening to us um, in the seller hub where you go in to do your offers to your watchers. There's items in there. They all have watchers on them. And when I try to send the offers out, it errors and tells me to try again later. Um, those are two things that have been happening to us. I've been hearing about the sold items relisting themselves. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else I've heard about. Um, people's items, sub items specifics are disappearing from their listings. Um, our shipping was also messed up on the back end of a couple of things where it was supposed to be like priority flat rate and it had switched to first class. I don't know what's going on, but um, Thrifty Chick is here. Um, East Coast Threads, Rhonda and Amelia, welcome in ladies and gentlemen um thrifty chicka missed a few live shows yeah everyone's getting ready for that back to school that's probably why our sales are slow but i kind of feel like the sales are slow because there's so many glitches because quite honestly if i was a buyer and i was trying to purchase something and i kept getting errors or couldn't pay i would just back out and not buy it to be honest i would get frustrated i would give up i mean that's just human nature um the inability to pay yeah so we're getting messages from our buyers that there's no way for them to pay there's like no button for them to push um or they're trying it and it's giving them an error 
And the first one, we just advised them to, you know, maybe check with their bank because it might have been their card. But it wasn't their card. It was eBay. Um, yeah, and so you have to look through your own listings to see if things are double listing themselves. And you have to um, be aware that the shipping and the um, item specifics are changing on certain items, which is a pain in the butt because for some of us with 2,000 items, how the heck are we supposed to check all that? But here I have a tool for you. I'm gonna kind of flood the chat with it. I'll do three in a row. Sell quick, ship quick, that tool right there that I just put in the chat. You go there, you type in your store name and United States, and it checks all your listings for you and shows you any possible duplicates you have. That doesn't help for stuff that's already sold and relisting itself, but if things are relisting themselves while they're still listed, that'll show you duplicates at least. That's somewhat of a help. Um, hey Heather, yeah, Heather, I was reading all the messages in the Flippin' Hippos Facebook group. It's nuts, it's like, glitch rama right now and everyone's reporting all these different glitches some of us are experiencing the same things but it's like if we made like a comprehensive list of the glitches right now it would be pretty long um someone was double charged for their store you're not the only one i heard about that from cherry picker um yeah the labels they're supposed to do right off the return i don't know but there could be a lot of people that are just giving up that are just I'm not buying. Anyway, let's get into the haul. So Saturday, Keith and I went to two different church sales. Um, the first one was pretty far away. It was a good 30-minute hike, but it was worth it. We got there right when they opened, and they had fill a bag and fill a box for a certain amount, depending on the size of the box or the size of the bag you got. The fill the boxes were for the flea market part, and the fill a bag was for the clothing. They advertise themselves as the most organized church rummage sale in all of Pittsburgh. And I have to hand it to them. They were. They literally had the entire basement of the church with clothing racks separated um, just like a thrift store would be. They had women's jeans separated by size, pants, skirts, coats. I mean, it was just like going into a really organized thrift store. And that was the basement. And then upstairs they had the flea market. And that was all super duper organized as well. So it was a really neat sale to go to. They said they do it every year, um, the second week of August, I believe. So we'll be going back to that next year for sure. It was so organized and we got some really great deals because it was literally whatever you could pack into these bags and boxes you paid one price for. And since that was like 30 minutes away, um, we found another church sale like down the, the yard sale app. If you don't have the yard sale app, you need the yard sale app. But we found another church sale that was kind of like on the way back home. So we went to all the one-off yard sales in between the two churches and then in between the last church and our house. We found one item at a yard sale. So that just goes to show you. Um, I don't know if it was because it was supposed to storm. It didn't. Um, if people are just drying up here already. We're getting towards fall. Um, but we went to a couple community yard sales, like the one promised 20 houses and there were three houses participating. And that's where I found one item. Um, and the rest of the one-offs we stopped at were kind of poop. But we did really good at the churches. So, hey Jody, welcome in. Good morning or good afternoon. Um, yeah, eBay's really quick to take their money from you, but they're very slow to refund you when, when they owe you. Um, Deb and Mel are here. Welcome in. Um, sorry to hear you're under the weather. I am still fighting off my migraine. I swear it's got to be the barometric pressure. So I was laying in bed last night with like an ice pack on my temples because that helps me sometimes and a thing over my eyes so it would be dark and all I could hear was thunder and I'm like oh this isn't gonna help. Anyway for the total day we spent $60 between um the, the church that we first went to that we filled a couple bags at and the second church where we filled up a box and the one one dollar plush I bought we spent sixty dollars total between um, the two churches and so I have everything here that we got and I'm going to show it to you so you guys can see how much we got for sixty bucks it's ridiculous it's absolutely crazy and it's just kind of piled around me on two different chairs 
So I'm just gonna grab it as I find it and show it to you. There's no organization here. Um, Keith grabbed this hat. He has done well with the shirts. Um, so he decided to try the hat. Since it was cram as much as you can in a bag, we grabbed the hat. Um, these fell on the floor. We found a lot of new with tags, which surprising for a church sale, but we did. So these are Ralph Lauren, which is a meh brand anymore. It's really been run down to the bottom. You can see the MSRP though is 99. I'm going to take this discount sticker off when I go to list it. There we go. But because they're new with tags, and they're kind of cool. Check this out. They have like this, I don't know what you would call this. It's a belt. I know that it's a belt, but it's like rawhide. I'll probably use hippie and boho. They're bell bottoms. So we crammed those in the bag. We found a nine. Never heard of this. But you guys know if we're getting it for 99 cents or less, and it's new with tags. We're snatching it. Hi, Sydney. Welcome in. Um, those of you that are just coming in, I had said that we spent $60 Saturday between um, some church sales and yard sales. Most of it was cram a bag with whatever you can get. So we did pretty good. This is new with tags as well. This is blush prom. New with tags, it's just like a nice, I'm gonna hate myself when I have to go and list these, but I'm not gonna pass up on nice dresses like that that are new with tags. There's another one here, stuff's just falling everywhere. This one's new with tags. And it is City Studio, so not too big of a deal, but when they're new with tags and they're cute and they're cheap, this one's really cute. It's got crinoleon. Kind of fluffs out. Yeah, I got another purple one here. This one's also new with tags. This one is Shimmer by Barry J. Got its tags. It's purple, sequined. It looks brown in this light, but I, I tell you, it's purple got these gems on it and all these rhinestones and sequins it's fancy it's fancy pants. and there went that bag we'll get it in a minute this is joseph riboff again not that terrific of a brand but new with tags and let me tell you we really crammed the bags full we got our money's worth we got uh we filled up some boxes too so you're gonna see some hard goods in here um, we got this Moby Dick. Uh, size on which dress? Sorry, the chat has a delay. Um, this doesn't even have a copyright date in it. So we figured we would risk it. Um, sometimes when they don't have a copyright date like that, it means they're older. And it fit nicely on the side of a box we were filling up. So we decided to toss it in there and risk it. Um, this one we were disappointed in. We got this home. We comped it. People are selling this for like $5 free ship. So I guess Star got a new book for herself to read. Great short stories. Great short stories of the world. Um, it's from Reader's Digest. It was published in 1972. That's why I decided to risk it because it just kind of went into the box. But that's going to be for me to read. The purple shimmer one, this one. Welcome in everybody that's joining us. It's a size six. I don't know if you can see it. I have absolutely no depth perception. It's a size six. All right, I have four pieces here that weren't new with tags that um, Keith just put through the wash in the dryer last night and the pants got wrinkled so I'll probably end up steaming these. I don't know. If I can make them look nice without steaming them because they're just Gloria Vanderbilt, I don't know if I want to spend the extra time. They are size 18. And they're like nice dress slacks, career, pinstripe. We're coming into that time of year where people are going to start looking for pants for career clothes. 
This one is Chico's. And I picked it up because I thought the print was really cute. It's a woman's butt in front with these little monkeys on it. I thought that was so cute. And then Keith picked up this men's sweater, Brandini. It's Argyle, and um, for 99 cents or less, Keith always picks up these Argyles, regardless of the brand. Um, for some reason, he does really well with Argyle sweaters and sweater vests. I got a Peaches Sport scrub top. I just picked it up because it, again, as much as you could get in the bags, you were paying one price. So. Um, I like the print. I like that it was long sleeve. I like that it's a snap button front. So I did grab that. Let me see if I can get this bag without um, pulling any cords out. Because, you know, it's always amateur hour here. I got it. I didn't pull cords out. Yay. <laughs> um. Yeah, Rhonda and Amelia, I might go ahead and list it. It might be one of those books that we just go ahead and list. Um, and then I read it until it sells. I don't know. Again, when you have room in a box and you're just paying one price, it's kind of worth it to shove it in just to take the risk. So this is Studio Andrew Mark for Wilson. I don't know if it's worth much anymore, but I remember back in the day, the Wilson's leather coats. I mean, back in the day, like long before I was ever even a reseller. We had a Wilson's back home in Arizona. We had one on the other side of PA where I used to live. And everybody always wanted the Wilson leather coats. They were worth a lot of money. So this one got crammed into one of the bags. And it is genuine leather. Um, show you that it's leather it's a men's it's pretty big um, yeah I do that a lot too where I'll list books and stuff and then I'll I'll read them I enjoy things until they sell sometimes alright here's the little plushies I got I got a little pink lovey with a little bird on them um, some of these still have their price tags on it, but that was null and void on the day we went because it was cram a bag, cram a box. Tweety Bird with a big old head, angel wings, and a halo. I got a Neopets. I do pretty well with the Neopets. Um... Wild Republic, I do love the Wild Republic plush. This one's cute. He's got like a little gem, pink dinosaur. Yeah, I mean, worst case scenario, Wilson isn't as worth as much as I thought it was, but that like went in on the top of a bag. Like it was the last thing we shoved in. There wasn't even really room for it, but we made it fit. So, I mean, I haven't counted all of our items, everything we got, but I think we got enough that it's, um, our total spent was 60 so we probably spent like a dollar or less on every item. I'll count them um, when we're done here. This is Disney Scully. I don't know who this is, but I had to get him because he looked familiar to me. I feel like he's from a video game. And he's got a battery pack back here. So I'm going to open him up, put some batteries in, test him out, and see what he does. And figure out who he is. Unless you guys know who he is, you can tell me. Put him down there. I got a Chuck E. Cheese pill bug plush. I call these pill bug plushes. I don't know what y'all call them. We got a Dumbo. A really cute Dumbo. Look at this Dumbo. Isn't he cute? He's so cute. And he is a Disney Dumbo on his tag so he was just that's one of the cutest dumbbells I've ever seen I got a blue fish from Dr. Seuss uh, one fish red fish two fish blue fish it's a Coles Cares these Coles Cares plushes are like hit or miss I get them home and they're worth a lot or they're not and so I never pay much for them 
But I will risk it. I always bring them home with me. If they're, you know, under a dollar. Um, this is a Hallmark. Supergirl. And then this is the one thing I got at yard sales. So. <laughs> at all the yard sales we went to in between the churches and on the way home, I found one plush. And I paid a dollar for him. The guy wanted two, and I kind of made a face and started to walk away. That's how I barter, by the way. I'm not, I'm not too keen on trying to talk folks into stuff. So I usually just kind of make a face and start to walk away. And they usually will stop me and say, well, what did you want to pay for him? Well, he stopped me and said, would you take him for a buck? And I said, yeah. Because I would have paid 99 cents for this guy at Goodwill. So. That's all the plush, I think. Um, I have a bag of shoes here. Let's do the shoes last. I got more clothes on this side of me. This is London Fog. Trench coat. We're going to have to steam this because we really had to cram it in. It's a men's green trench coat by London Fog. It has a button front and a belt. I found J. Crew new with tags. You guys know I pick up J. Crew used for 99 cents all the time. They do pretty good on Posh. These are bell bottom. So they're, they look like uh, I can use boho and hippie as keywords. They're size 30, so they're a pretty good size. And they have their original tags. I'm really not looking forward to those dresses. I'm going to tell you guys that right now. But I couldn't pass them up. New tags. Same with this. This These are Jordash. Not typically a brand I would pick up. But new tags all day long. Because someone will buy them. These look... Um, these are probably straight leg. I'll have to do some measurements. I see a puffy coat <clears throat> that I don't remember getting. So Keith must have shoved this in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Campus Heritage Collection 2XL. The Pit Panthers. Tied it fell on the floor. Sorry about that. Winnie the Pooh. And you know what? I just realized that Keith listed a bunch of ties that I won't be able to show you because he already put them away. Um, he had a slew of ties. Like, he was just cramming them into the bag left and right. I told him to put them back in this pile when he was done photographing them, but he didn't. So there were probably... In addition to everything I'm going to show you here, um, I want to say there were 30 more ties because he, he's been listing 10 a day. Yeah, there are probably 30 ties, 40 ties. Here's one more he hasn't gotten to yet. And then we got these Chico's shiny silver jeans. And these did not have tags. I, I know why they're over here, because I steamed them. I didn't feel like they should go in the dryer. I got a corduroy purse. No big deal, no big brand name. It's just uh, fashion right. But sometimes I pick up handbags based on you know how they look. Mm -hmm. And I think this corduroy handbag is cute. And then I got these corduroys, New York and Company. Again, not that great of a brand. But they were new tags. And I do I do really well with corduroys in the fall. Um, these are a size 16 as well. And I always do really well with corduroys in the fall. Probably just as well as I do with jeans. So I grabbed those because they're new with tags. Keith got a three pack of the blank VHS tapes. These are a bolo, guys. If you ever find blank VHS tapes, buy them. Bill and David, welcome in. Um, let's see what this is. This is a box of ink that Keith picked up. Just all different kinds of ink in there. You guys, ink is a bolo as well. 
Um, this all came together in this little box, though. Oh, that's gonna... I'm trying to show you this foam. So there's two of these. One does not have the power cord, the other one does. I don't know who the one with the power cord is, but they're the same exact thing. So he, he's gonna be able to test them both with the same cord. But these office phones like this, these are definitely a bolo. Um, again, that still has the price tag on it, but it was just a bolo box. I'm gonna show you guys that last. We got a cassette tape. This isn't like the big time, big money bolo ones from um, Guardians of the Galaxy. But we still pick these up when we find them cheap enough. And these as well, these voice recorders. We usually do pretty good with them, even if we end up selling them broken for parts. I believe he's already got these up in the store. Which is, they're cute. They're nativity pieces. That's the donkey. You guys, if you find nativity pieces, they are a bolo. Every time we have found nativity pieces or scenes for, um, not just nativity, but you know how people build those like Christmas towns on the tables at the holiday season. They build those little towns or they have like the train sets that go through. Anything like that, we always pick it up. I would say it's a bolo. It doesn't matter what brand. They all sell and they sell for good money. People love, um the pieces for their nativity scenes and their Christmas scenes. And these are still new in the bag. I don't even know if you can see them. It's three sheep. I wish they had more. I would have cleared them out. I would have filled up a whole box with these. But they only have the donkey and the sheep and two more blank VHS tapes. Um, I really wish he would have put the ties over here, but he didn't. So there were a ton of ties that I can't show you because they are not here, but let's get into the shoes. We'll just start pulling them out and seeing if I can find their mates. As I go, not finding. These were such good shape too. Look at these. I mean, you saw all the new tags, clothes we found and prom dresses and stuff. The shoes at this church sale were in such amazing shape. Like these look hardly worn, if at all. They're just dockers, but again, when you're cramming a bag full of shoes and you're paying one price for the bag, um, you know, we spent $60 on the whole day. So we're pretty tip of sync with everything we found. Um, again, these are in really great shape on the bottom, especially. They look almost new. These are fanfare. They're just mules. They're cute though. There's a lot of shoes around in here. Just start pulling them out. Found another mate. These are Clarks. They were originally $10 at the church sale even. And um, just shoved them in my bag. Look at the nice bottoms on these and how good of condition they're in. And they're cute. And they're Clarks, right? Clarks, I don't know, I do well with Clarks. Oh, you know what? I put the one thing away that I wanted to show you guys last, and now the phone's in my way. And I don't want to forget to show it to you. Um, so I'll put it here so don't forget. Check these out. OMG, now these are a little bit worn right there, but I feel like with a damp cloth I can get that off. But these are like so cool. These boots are so awesome. I think they're hideously ugly, but I feel like somebody somewhere is going to love these. And I will cross post them to Poshmark. I mean, the shape of the shoe is cute. I don't know that I'd wear camos, but somebody's going to love them. We got... These are um, soft style hush puppies, and I do well with the, these too. I've had soft styles before and hush puppies that I've picked up. Really good shape. Look at the bottoms of those. 
I got SAS Tripad Comfort Loafers. Again, these shoes at this church sale were like, I've never seen shoes in such great condition at like rummage sales like that, where they're used and they look this nice. I got more, oh yeah, there was a brown pair and a black pair of those loafers, the SAS loafers. So I grabbed both. And that would be nice to list, very easy. I'll just sell similar and change the, the brown to black, you know? These are super cute. These are like something I actually would have worn back in the day when I worked in recreation therapy and I had to dress business casual. I would have worn shoes like these. And the bottoms look new. They're in really good condition. They're Dulles Nome. I didn't really give a crap about the brand. I gave a crap about how cute these are. They are ugly, but they will sell. Yeah, ugly sells. Hey, Tracy Thrust, welcome in. Um, I can't wear high heels, Bill, because of my back. I have to live in tennis shoes. Um, more lifestyle, soft stride, plush puppies, pointy toe, women's heels. These have a little bit of wear, but they're not bad at all. And for those of you wondering, yes, these have all been soaked in Lysol already. I got these men's wanted loafers. I'll call them lace-up dress shoes, loafers, whatever. I can cram into the title. Look at the bottoms of those. They are in such amazing, great shape. I think I can get to the ties. I might go get the ties to show you guys before I go away today. Oh, these aren't even a match. I'm about to show you these two shoes, and they're not even mates. All right, here we go. Another pair of the Lifestyle Soft Strides. Just a different color. They're the same exact um, size and everything as the other two. They're just different colors, so I grabbed both pair. I got some Nine West... Um, snakeskin, faux snakeskin. These are kind of ugly, but someone will absolutely love these. How pointy they are, the heel. Uh, hey, the Noor Cow Picker, welcome in. Yeah, I can't wear them at all. I would kill myself. My back just cannot handle it. Heels, that's what I'm talking about. Look at these. They are bamboo. Never heard of bamboo. The bottoms are a little worn. They're a little worn on the bottom, but because of what they look like, I picked them up. They're like square clogs, I guess. I don't know. Flip-flop sandals. I'll cram some keywords in there. But they're just so neat to look at. Awesome. Awesome shoes. I'm probably going to go grab the ties. So you guys are going to um, have to stare at Henry for a minute. Because I kind of, I really did want to show you guys everything we got for the whole day for 60 bucks. Because it's absolutely amazing and mind-blowing. I love when they're like, here, take a bag and cram everything you can. Or here, take a box. And cram everything you can. In case you don't see what I'm opening... It's Disney. Wait till you see what's in here. They originally had this marked at $7, but I fit them into a box. Check that out. It is Eeyore with deer antlers and a wreath and a bow. He's got his nice little hang tag. You can see right there where they wanted seven for him. And there's his original MSRP. We have already um, comped him. I haven't photographed him or anything. We did comp him when we got home because we were so excited about him. And um, there's people selling him without his styrofoam in his original box. Anywhere between 30 and 60. And we've seen him with this in his box anywhere from like 50 to 75. 
So I will probably, because he's over a pound, I like to do calculate. I don't like to do free shipping on stuff over a pound. Um, so I'll probably list mine at like 60 with calculated shipping on them. And then I'll throw a best offer on and see what happens. We're getting towards Christmas. People are starting to buy Christmas stuff. Um, so I was just so excited about my Eeyore. Especially since he has his original box and um, everything. Like the styrofoam that goes on him. And then the original box and everything. And it's got his MSRP on there. Um, I know it only says 52 and I said I'm going to start at like 60. But we've seen him lifted and sold anywhere from 30. I'm really sorry about all the noise with the styrofoam. Anywhere from 30 to 75 with and without his box. So I'm pretty confident I can probably get 60. Or start him at 60 and take 55 plus shipping. So I'm going to see if I can go get these ties. They're right over here. Um, I will keep talking so that at least you guys can hear me. I can't get out because of all the shoes. Um, but yeah, I did want to grab these ties and show you guys. And I probably should have been more... Um, but you guys know me. I am a total amateur. It is always amateur hour around here. I'm grabbing all these ties. And you know what? I think he's actually taking some upstairs because I feel like we had more than this. Sometimes Keith is really on the ball. He brings stuff home right away. He photographs it. He takes it upstairs to the serial killer room and he puts it away and categorizes it. And it's always when I haven't shown it in a haul yet. <laughs> And then there's other times where stuff just sits and sits and sits and never gets taken care of. But that's okay. He did bring some, like he had this whole box of stuff I just showed you, except for Eeyore. He had all of that already photographed and put upstairs. He did bring it down for me. So, um, sorry that I had to walk away from the camera. I'm such an amateur, but I really wanted to show you guys these. Um, I feel like there were more than this. I think he did take some upstairs, but I'll show you what he left down here. Um, with ties, we typically, as they get photographed, we just put them in one of our Ikea bags, and then they go upstairs and get put into their little bins. So, um, this is Nordstrom. He was very tempted to grab all the ties off the rack and just cram them into the bag. But then he's like, what if I get them home and some are really crap? So he did kind of go through them. Um, and he, we figured since they were just being crammed into the bag at the last minute, um, anything that was going to sell for 12 or more would be fine. Like I said, I have to count out every single thing we bought and do the math. Um, but we paid 60 for all of this. So pretty good. This is English Sports Shop. You can see that this one is uh, palm trees and parrots and stuff. We tried to pick out the novelty ones. Walmart sells the dry cleaning bag, I believe. Um, yeah, there's a dry cleaning kit you can buy and you just do it in your dryer. I can't say if it works or not, I've never tried it. Teddy bears and um, Andalaro. Uh, like I said, we were just, we had like this much room left. We crammed in that one leather coat with this much room left. And he's like, let's go see how many ties we can shove in there. So we were picking anything that was either a good brand or novelty. And I will tell you this. I don't even know what that is. That looks like Pennywise. Is that Pennywise? Oh, that's a guy on a bike. Let's see where my mind goes. That's a guy on a bike, y'all. But it looks like a clown to me. Um... Fourth quarter is what I was going to tell you. Ties do really well in fourth quarter. When we first started reselling, we thought that they would pick up in um, June for Father's Day, but that must be a myth because it never happens. But usually in fourth quarter, I don't even see a brand on this, but that's cool. Um, usually in fourth quarter, ties will pick up. Jamie P says the same. He says his tie sales pick up towards fourth quarter. This is called Botany 500. It's just a neat, silky, geometric print. And this one's Paisley. And this one's Hathaway. But ties are like, you know, if you're getting them for pennies, for, you know, 50 cents or less, 
They're so super easy to photograph. They're so super easy to list. They're so super easy to store. And they weigh next to nothing to ship. So whatever we find, if we can buy a lot or a big bulk of ties for super cheap, um, we do grab them. These are cigars. Aren't this cute? We grab them most of the time based on their looks more than their brand. Robert Valeni. This is Bogner. Nice print. And this is Via. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to show it to you guys. You guys can figure out what it says. It's just a nice looking tie. But yeah, we love whenever we find ties. Like sometimes I'll have like a box of ties at a yard sale, and I'll just be like, "If I buy all your ties, can I have them for fifty cents a piece?" And they'll usually have like twenty or fifty out, and they're like, "Oh yeah." And Keith flies through them. Like he can take the photos of these really fast. Dino Romero, and they're very easy to store. Like I said, easy to list. This is a. Religious tie, spiritual tie. I have hopes that some preacher will see that and want it for his sermons. This is Norman Rockwell. And I think this is meant... I think they're supposed to be like... I don't know. I was going to say they look like baseball players, but they're wearing suits. Don't listen to me. I don't know sports. If they were comic book characters, I would know. <laughs> and then we have a Wembley that's just like a soft, silky paisley. So, um, other than the few ties that I feel like went upstairs, that's everything we got for 60 bucks. Um, so I'm pretty tickle pink. I really, I'm going to count everything as I'm organizing it after the show. I have to figure out what's going upstairs, what's already done, what needs photographed, and put them in piles, because I always work on all alike at the same time, you guys know that. Um, but I will count everything out, and I will figure out what each item was per piece. Um, the last time I did that was that big box we bought of stuff when we bought out somebody's inventory. We ended up having like 96 pieces in that box and we spent 220 or 225 including shipping. Those all came out to two dollars and something but for those of you that saw that box it had like the Doc Martens in it that just sold for fifty dollars plus shipping and Lily Pulitzer and tons of Tommy Bahama. I mean that box was amazing. You know what? In fact, on the replay, I'm going to have it pop up. In case you're watching the replay and you haven't seen that box, I'm going to show it to you. Because it's all stuff like we never, ever, ever find in the wild here. It's things I've found in South Carolina, maybe Florida. We just don't find it in our area. So, yeah, that is uh, everything. Unless there's still some stuff upstairs or some ties he took up. Um, and I'm pretty excited about all of this. For, the, for what we paid for it, it's... You know, and new with tags, regardless of the brand, typically moves faster and for more money. And I'm really happy that we got coats and jeans and corduroys as we move towards fall. Um, bye, Shelly. Back to work for you. Yeah, I hope I feel better soon, too, because I'm to the point where I want to drill holes in my head to relieve the pressure. Um, anyway, I'm going to be back tomorrow with another haul, and it's going to be, drumroll please, it's all shoes, mostly. Keith and I uh, connected with another reseller in Katie and Vicky's Boss Up Group, local to Pittsburgh. She just landed her dream job, and that's going to keep her, um, she's going to Germany. She'll be out of town all the time. She's going to travel a lot. And for her, that's her dream job, um, doing what she's going to be doing and traveling and seeing different countries. So she is trying to sell off her eBay inventory before she gets ready to start her job. We met her at her storage unit Sunday evening, and um, I picked out 25 pairs of shoes, and Keith got four or five electronics pieces from her. Um, so I'll be back with that tomorrow. It's 25 pairs of shoes in addition to the ones I just got. You guys have no idea how momentous this is for me that I have all these shoes. Um, granted, these ones from the church are in really good shape, and so are the ones she 
had in her storage unit and the one she had are amazing like super like I got tons of Doc Martens Chucks you guys will see tomorrow so I'll be back tomorrow with my huge shoe haul plus a few miscellaneous electronics items to keep picked out from her and until then um I guess I'm gonna sort through this count it maybe I'll post in the Facebook group or tell you guys tomorrow on the live show how much each piece came out for I do have to count it and um, figure out what each piece cost obviously for bookkeeping purposes but uh, yeah, thank you, Tracy. Hit the thumbs up before you leave. It helps the channel. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to our channel and help us feed a hungry hippo. Join our Facebook group. The link is in the description box down below. Come back tomorrow and join me to look through all of my shoes that I got. And uh, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We're at Flippin' Hippos across all social media. Never hesitate to reach out to me, guys, or leave comments. I love to hear from you. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me today. And uh, go be productive. Go make some money. We're getting towards fourth quarter. I know eBay has lots of glitches. I know that things are slow right now. But just keep listing. Just keep being productive. It will pay off in the end. Um, the glitches have to stop sometime. And Q4 is just around the corner. See you guys next time. Love you so much. Thank you so, so much again for hanging out with me. You guys are.